Hello, 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 it's Wardy Zoo here, and I just thought I'd upload a little video doing a guild war. This is the last guild of the week, Saturday evening for us. Uh, we're currently at about 4%, roughly where we normally end up when you're between 2 and 5%, we're reasonably high G1. Um, this one's a bit of a tricky one, so we're going to go ahead and just see what we can do. Here we go, the first team here. Right, I'm going to keep my top team as it is. I use that quite often, uh, Molong, Icarus, Gani. It's a really successful blend. It might not work against this team, but we'll uh, give it a go. And for the second team, um, I think the double wind, we might be able to lush in this. Put the fat lushing in. And then I feel like a snipe for the Veladrill if the Lushen can take out the two wind units, depends how tanky they are. So I've only just put things back into my monsters after the mass summon, so you have to forgive me for not knowing where things are because I don't think I've put them all back where they should go. I'm hunting for monsters at the minute because they're not where they were. There we go. Okay, let's give this a go. Yeah, well, we're going to attack. We're going to attack anyway. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Okay, we're going to actually go for the Perna reset and hopefully get the attack bars, which we have. And then we'll mow along, see if we can summon amazing. Still got a double stun. And then pop the perna. Perfect. Now we reset the Icarus and then we should be able to take out the Molong. He's reasonably tanky. Pop and there's the Molong guy. So this is a very successful team. It's very good, very, very OP. And from now we shouldn't really have any problems. And that'll be the first one done. Nice and easy. If there will ruins, there would have been a possibly a um, yeah, a few more issues. But as it wasn't, and this is a plus zero, the ruins aren't going to be quite as overpowering as some of the others. So again, it's nice and straightforward. Move on to second. Now we've got my fat lushen. So I think this is a five star um, druid. So it should go straight through him, it depends how tanky this Fang is, but I don't imagine he's going to be tanky enough. Nope, and he's gone, and then we've got a fire, this one's over, nice little reset there, but we'll go ahead and heal up. Um, Try and see what the threat is here. I mean, we can just we can snipe anything really. We'll snipe the Then we're just going to finally work him down, and it's a nice, comfortable, easy win. There we go. The free to play friendly team as well, the Carly Lushen and Konamia. Ignore defence and you've got so much more chance of winning and not getting caught by all these horrible, horrible procs. So, um, right, here again, I'm going to remain the same on the top one again. On the bottom, I mean, it's very tanky, we, we could we could try lushing it again, but I don't know, it gets a bit boring when you keep lushing stuff all the time. Obviously this is going to be a crazy tanky one, but... Um, I think for the purpose of this, we're going to again, we're going to try, we'll try one of my speed Lushens. I have a fatal speed Lushen who's 203 speed with a lot of attack. He, he hits very well, he hits nicely. So we can uh, use him, and I think if we put lag in with him, we, we might be okay. Again, I will change things up, but being a Saturday evening, um, we're going to be hard for to get the win. So um, it's best to play it a bit safe during the week. It doesn't matter so much, but 
when they're a bit more difficult, the guild needs to help. So here we go again, same as last time. The Vela's going to be a lot more squishy in the aerial, so now we'll just go straight for the Vela. Oh, he's not as squishy as I thought, though. This bit might take a couple of minutes. I mean, it's, it's over, they can't do anything, it's just a matter of time because I'm going to get all my thirds back up. So just a matter of time before I do. Um, let's see if we can strip. My Ganny doesn't strip anything. Oh, but my Molong is a double strip. That never happens. Uh, okay, we're just going to pop. We're going to reset the Icarus. And in comes 50% damage. And we are done. As I say, this is a very successful team. I do not lose with it very often. And that's another easy win. Second team, now uh, this could go any which way. Um, that's just a matter of what, what do I want to do? Should I try and stun them up? Or, you know, if Gene gets a go off, this might be over. So I'm going to go for the squall onto Gene. Hope I hit for some nice damage. Oof. If I don't get the crits, I think. Yeah, we've not done enough damage here. I'm not sure we'll be able to. Uh, we can get provoked. She's going to go invincible. Hopefully, a toe poison get rid of invincible, and it does. But now I'm just going to get hit on by that horrible Chandra. I've just got to play the waiting game, hoping that I've got enough time. This was always a risk. Okay, we'll see if we can stun anyone up here because we really need the stuns. And hopefully this Diana doesn't go crazy and we might still stand a chance. Oh, I think we've lost this one. Oh, we have. Well, that's always the risk you take when you, when you nuke. Rip. Almost had that as well. Maybe I should have started with lags third. But you know, these things happen. There's not much you can do. Um, it's the risk you take when you want to nuke. Okay, well, again, this looks like a tricky one. Um, I'm not a fan of Johns, and they're just everywhere at the minute. Um, really is quite boring, I'm afraid. But we'll try and bomb this team, I think. Fingers crossed, no real ruins, but we will take. Oh, and again, I don't know where all my monsters are. Where is my fairy? There we go. Okay, again, this is very risky. The top will keep the same again this time. Um, if the rat goes crazy, we're probably going to lose quick. Because that 50% collapse rate, as we all know, can quite often just go bonkers on you. RNG for you. Right, so again, right with this actually works out quite fortuitous because we can reset the healer, which is what we knew, and we got all three attack bars. So no one's going to really focus on the Mo Long, so we can get rid of that straight away. And that Chaz actually looks a little squishy, so if we can, oh. mm, that Chaz is squishy, so we might stand a chance here. And there we go. This is this is exactly what happens. The stupidity of um, the collapse. Mm. Unfortunately, here I don't. I think I'm going to survive long enough. Um, okay, again, stop the chairs healing. Uh, get a bit of life. He might survive another round. Nice. Um, now we just take the risk, I think. 
if we don't get collapsed in return and we've reset Icarus's, we go for that. Unless that procs, we go for the kill here. And then we hope that we can just, in time, Oh, the prox you're going to kill. No, I think we might have just got this one. We can just keep him along and up, live enough to get one more reset, and he has. Beautiful. Icarus does the work again, MVP. Uh, no, will ruins, which is beautiful. Let's see if we can get these bombs off. Oh, it was always a risk with the resistance. Um, we're going to try and double bomb. Amara, we do. Now we can see if we can play this out or not. Oh, I have a Despair Sierra, so I love that. That's why I love that. Oh, fortunately, got the uh, heal off. But the resistance is working a charm. It was always a risk. Oh, and there's a wonderful proc. And we could have lost this one because of that proc. Nothing unusual, unfortunately, in this game. There's, there she goes. It's got, they've gone crazy. And that's the draw. Well, that did not go nearly as well as I was hoping for my first Guild War video. A win and two draws. Um, that second one just there should have definitely been a win. Uh, again, procs are just kill you in this game, and uh, there's nothing you can do about it. You have to just roll with it because it's just part of the game, unfortunately. Um, it was a good first win, and then that second team really shouldn't have been an issue. I would have lushened it if I, uh, but I didn't really want to make a video to be too boring, so I think a lushen would have quite comfortably. Well, it would have killed Desire, and it might have killed Imar, and if I hadn't, I, the, the second monster would have just taken him out. But uh, yeah, uh, you can basically at this level find three fights to Lushen almost every time. Uh, but again, for the sake of a video, that, that's a bit boring. I tend to get most of my wins doing a sort of economy a fat Lushen. Uh, every now and again it doesn't work, like it didn't just work today. Um, but most of the time it does work. And then my Molong Icarus Gani get almost 100% success rate. They're boring, but say at the end of the week when you need the points but I haven't helped out as much as I should have but anyway better luck that time eh? all right see you later guys bye